So, like, the poking through the ear isn't the problem. Uh huh. The problem is the aftercare part. Yeah, well, because you know, you, do, you have to make sure you take you, care of yourself. A tattoo artist will give you the proper aftercare shit, whereas you don't, you know, at home you're just going to pour some fucking peroxide or some fucking you know, Probing iso alcohol. isopropyl, yeah, and that's not going to cut it. And I say this as someone who did once very badly cut open their thumb while... Uh, making pork? While making, preparing pork, raw pork. I think that's crucial here, is that it was raw pork that I was cutting. Yeah, no, I remember yeah. that. With, yeah, with I knife. remember. And then I literally just poured a bunch of isopropyl alcohol all over my thumb and wrapped it in paper towel and went to bed. God, I wish I was there when you did that. I mean, the funny part wasn't... <laughs> you still so what you're, it. So hold the on. So what you're saying is that Capcom owes you likeness rights for Resident Evil 8. That's right. <laughs> and so I woke up to, to someone else in the house... Going, hey man, are you okay? And me being like, what? Yeah, I'm fine, what's up? And then being like, well, I asked because there's blood all over the kitchen and <laughs> you trailed blood upstairs. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, 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 yeah, my bad. I like sliced open my thumb, but I'm good. Did she like get blood on the carpets? There was no carpets, it's hard yeah, to Okay. Alright, well, at least it's easy to clean up then. Is this yeah. gonna say blood like never fucking comes out of carpets? Yeah, no, it's hardwood floors. I know mostly, this from losing teeth. Mostly on the counter, some on the kitchen floor, a little bit yeah, on the I, stairs, I think. I, I know that blood doesn't come out of carpets because I had chronic nosebleeds as a child. I mean, I cannot stress enough that I literally didn't, I didn't even put a band-aid. I just... Did you even, <laughs> like, run water over it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I ran water over, I mean, it was a deep cut. You don't understand how deep the cut was. It was very deep. I have a scar still. It's a very deep cut. <laughs> and I, what I did was, I, after running water over it and stuff, I literally held it open and poured isopropyl <laughs> alcohol in it and then closed it shut, held it shut through the paper towel that I had wrapped around it and then waited for it to like stop bleeding enough that I was confident it wasn't going to bleed all over the bed, bed sheets and went to sleep. And Catch it didn't, that guy. It, it didn't bleed all over the bed sheets, so hey, hun. success. Hey hun, could you should you could you be more careful, please? I mean I haven't done that again. And like you know all those people on the bridge just I, knew immediately what was gonna happen. I don't think you're a real chef until you've had one really bad kitchen accident. That's I strongly stand by that. The thing is is if he went to the ER he would have been there for like eight hours. That's my point. Yeah, what was I gonna do? Yeah. Go to the ER for six hours? Well, you they, don't need to go to the ER. Do, you they just need to me, like, not pour alcohol. They would have given me a glue stitch. And here, here's a fun thing: they would have given me a glue stitch that I didn't even need. There would have been a whole ER bill because I because I would have was in a different state from where my health insurance is. It would have been a whole thing. And instead, yeah. I poured some ice broker alcohol on, on it. And within, like, I don't know, two weeks, it was fine. It just had a scar. So. Trying to think about what the worst thing I've done to myself in the kitchen is. And it might be when I pulled a... When I was at Panera, I pulled a grilled cheese off of the press too fast. And some boiling hot cheese got on my ow, fucking face. Ow. And luckily, I had not shaved in a few days, so my beard caught most of it. But, like, there was a... There was a really bad scar on my cheek for a while, like right above my beard. I uh, I knew someone who used to work at Shake Shack, and they uh, were not taught properly how to deal with the deep fryer. Oh, and they no! Got, they got boiling hot oil on them, and they had third-degree burns. Yeah, that will oh, do it. That's a... I've also sliced my finger open a couple of times at Panera, but nothing major. Primarily, yeah, primarily on the tomato slicer, I actually. Have cut, um, all the uh, all the other Panera equipment, like all the nobody ever sharpened any of the knives, so they were all like dull. So you couldn't cut yourself with them if you tried. I cut myself somewhere else that I can't remember at one point, and it was pretty bad. But I guess it wasn't that bad because I don't have a scar from it. So, but I cut. Well, how I, how can you be sure you don't have a scar if you don't remember what it was? Well, because I'm looking and I don't see a scar. So, right, fair um, enough. 
Yeah, I, I, I know I cut one of my other fingers one time pretty badly. Um, but I guess it wasn't badly enough to scar. And then, uh, also, um, like, actually, kinda fairly recently, I was taking something out of the toaster oven, and, uh, my... I thought you were gonna say toilet. Between my second knuckle and my third knuckle, my, or, what do you call it? Your, no, 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 my Your first fingers. knuckle and my second knuckle on my thumb. Between my two knuckles on my thumb, I accidentally pressed the skin against uh, one of the racks while I was pulling Ooh. something out. Yeah, and I, I burnt it pretty nastily. Yeah, that's, a, that's bad. It wasn't like third degree, it was just a bad burn. One time I picked up a curling iron when I was like eight. That seems like an awfully old age to do that. No, more like six. <laughs> All right. I mean, anyway, it was in the sink, and I didn't want to get electrocuted when I used the sink. But I grabbed the heart, hot part. Yeah. Thinking that it was unplugged, you know, like it's fucking supposed to be. Right. And hot and out, instead, eat the curling iron, I get it. Instead, your hand got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Did you um, know, did you, have, you ever, have you ever done the thing where you get mild frostbite because you do one of the ice-holding competitions, you know those? No? No? You don't know about this? this Sounds is like, like a bad this idea. This is a common, like, uh, like macho thing that the boys do in high school or whatever, or, like, middle school. You just, uh... In, so in my high school, the macho thing to do was get addicted to heroin, so... Well, fair, so hey, you, you just yeah. see, who can, see who can hold on to a piece of ice the longest. And, uh, it's not good because you shouldn't do that. It's actually bad for you to do that. I don't know if you know about that. Also, you'll get, like, third-degree burns if you do it with exotic yeah, types of ice. If you do it long enough, right, yeah, but, uh, and also if you do it with dry ice, but, yeah, if you just do regular ice, um, you get frostbite if, if you hold it too long. Um. Which is kind of fun. Can I, can I just, uh, ask, um, what's up with men? Like, what, what do you, why do y'all do this? Dudes rock. Um, yeah, dudes rock. <laughs> A lot of a lot of dudes are very stupid, though. Is the thing the same reason dudes used to look at like live leak videos in high school and then just break their psyches and never be the oh, same again? Yeah, no, oh, I, no, I, I yeah. know people that do that. No, yeah. no, man. Li look, I'm so old that live leak didn't even exist. We had to we go back to the OG. We had to use Rotten. <laughs> rotten. No, no, yeah, rotten. I, know about, com. I know about Rotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the original. No, I, I remember when my brother's yeah. friend would be like, "Hey, you want to watch a video of this? These people like murdering a homeless guy?" And it's like, "No." Yeah, I've seen that video. Because <laughs> I'm not fucked. I don't even know. Um, I don't really even know where you go for that stuff anymore. I'm cut. Which is, I, have I think, no a idea. good thing. I hope. Yeah, I. I, I hope prefer the answer not is. To. I hope the no, no no. I mean, I hope the answer is nowhere. I hope you just can't. It's very hidden and hard to find now. I don't was think that's pretty, true, but... It was pretty easy before, I feel like, which is it bad. Was, it was very easy, and I imagine it is not any harder now, is my guess. That, that could be true, but I don't know. A lot of internet sanitization has happened, I think, since we were younger. By companies trying to make ad money, yes. But, right, like... You, I'm just saying, you can't just, like, go to, like, a GeoCities page anymore, you know? That shit doesn't exist. Yeah, like, I, I'm, I get what you're saying, but... Is it I, I really or huh? Geocity. It was Geocity. Oh, I like Geocity. That's pretty good. <laughs> Geocity. Yeah, the Geocity gnome. <laughs> oh, we're almost at the funny number. Wait. In wait. In 15 seconds. No, no. Also, who's this guy? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh my God, you're Blaze right. It. No, wait. No, oh, you wait. missed it. Get, get, go back. Wait, we just need stop, to wait. Stop six... the video. We gotta. We gotta. Wait, go it's gonna be really funny in 69 seconds. Oh, uh, there it is. Uh, it'll be <laughs> Hold on, wait, yeah, no, let's wait for that. How much weed have you had? It's only it's only been 16 seconds. How did you uh, smoke so much? <laughs> oh, speaking of Mike, I don't know if I told you this. I got a weed vape. Hey, how's that going for you? Uh, so you know how um I had smoked weed previously three times, and yeah. the only time I did not crumple into a pile of lifeless dust, dust. was with you right before yeah. we went to go see Aesop Rock. That's right. Yep. This is this is more like that. So right. I, I think my other friends were just trying to kill me. Yeah. Well, for one thing, <laughs> oh, this, I, this was laced with drugs. I think that's generally true of vapes, as long as you know what you're getting in it. Yeah, yeah, All, yeah. Because some of them. I mean, you can get 
You can get like 97% THC stuff in a vape, which I would not recommend because um, it's very harsh and will uh, make you Alex, feel bad. Alex, the, uh, the counter's broken. It didn't go up to 69. Like, it yeah, just went to 60 it. and I'll, then it I'll, went I'll, back to zero. I, can you I'll fix, fix it? I'll fix it in post. You'll fix it in post? Oh, okay, thanks. thanks man. Um, so... Continue the weed conversation, sorry. Yeah. One cool thing that I think has... Uh, like, this was not a thing when I was younger, obviously. Is like CB like we know a little bit about the composition of weed now, so CBD is like a thing now, right? So like, you're saying everyone grow up smoking ditch weed? Well, what I tend to get no, because I would I got like pretty good weed when I was younger, but it was like you didn't have a choice, right? It was just like you get the weed that you that's there. Um, but that's true of all high schoolers, I think. But anyway. Point being, now that we know the composition of weed, you can do stuff like get weed that's high in CBD versus THC, which is, like, way less, like, makes you go batty and be super fucked up and really... Which is what I do. I, li I like a nice high CBD weed. Also, who's this yellow guy? Very chill. This is another one of the guys. Yes. Is he from Club Venus? Is the yeah, next one. you got it. <laughs> so, would you recommend uh, smoking some high CBD weed uh, while you get some CBT? No. Mm, well, since unless I do you mean think cognitive that... behavioral therapy. Yeah, actually, that might help. Or... For... <coughs> In which case, yes, do that. No, no, I, I meant <clears throat> cock and ball torture. Well, you didn't so... mean computer-based training. I feel like mm, no. with cock and ball torture, it's going to make you more sensitive. So if you're into cock and ball torture and you want that, hmm. sure. But if you're if you're like a first timer to the CBT, maybe don't. How much it might do you think intense. I could get paid to kick some guy in the balls? I mean, there's websites where you could there's sign websites. up and I know. find out. Uh, can I tell you, Are you uh, can sure I tell you, you didn't mean uh, closed beta testing? A friend of a friend. This is a 100% true story. I'm not joking at all. A friend of a friend of a friend does drag, and got a sugar daddy who was paying them $500 for feet pics. Uh -huh. Her. Well, you know what they say. Peggy'sFeet.com wasn't built in a day. Oh, here's a good one. It says cock and ball torture, parentheses, banned. <laughs> well, Mike, um, no. cross-dresser doesn't mean transgender. Some no, people just I'm like I'm just saying the... that was just a fact about that person. Is that this person is a very, very good drag queen. And they found somebody and started fin-doming them. <laughs> and that is a thing that happened. Man, where do I find someone to, to New York. pay me money? New York. That's my best answer. <laughs> New York yeah, there's City. There's like 10 million people there, something. If if you want to get feet pics from Maggie, I know that that's where uh, it happens. E email so me New York. at me. <laughs> hey, wait yeah, a minute. Now, wait a second. Now, you, now I gotta do audio that editing. Exists. That's not fair. <laughs> I don't think that's a real email. <laughs> you forget I have all the. We're recording with Mumble. I get all these files. Oh, There's you're right. You no, can do. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I, I can wait, keep it. If this you want good, feet actually. Picks, please email me at... Say more... Yeah, yeah, say more fucked up shit. That because... wasn't even... That wasn't even the podcast email. If we force Miko to actually do editing, then he'll actually go back and edit the 42069 in here. Oh, so we gotta, we gotta. Hey, audio audio editing is different and a lot easier than doing the video editing. Yeah, but if we just ruin the whole audio, especially track, because I am something. <laughs> especially oh, you, because oh, I baked the timer into the footage. Okay, no, I don't want you to do that. Um, please, don't. please stop. Please, God, no. Please, just God, turn, why? turns AC back on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ceiling fan I can turn on. Wait, I, I had to stop myself from saying the thing I was going to say. I want you to know. Thank you. Oh, she's making Chirashi. That's nice. Ben Egar. Wait, I'm confused. What? Why so... is one of the hostesses making food? Is it just for her? Like her lunch? She's making it for all the girls, I, I think. 
So are the club colors based on the Sailor Scouts? Um, they're based on planets, but yes. In the same way the Sailor <laughs> Scouts are based on planets. No, I mean, the Club of Jupiter guy was wearing green, and the Club of Venus guy is wearing yellow. Who here has eaten and enjoys sushi? Um, hey Mike, uh, can you just say fuck the police for me real quick? Yeah, fuck the police. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Who, who here? Oh, they're coming. Um... No, it sounds like they're leaving, because that is significantly quieter well, than it was I, before. I said fuck them, and they got really upset. Um, oh. You know they're very sensitive, police. Uh, they went crying to Bayonne. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Uh Who here has eaten and enjoys sushi? Yeah. Um, I've eaten sushi from a grocery store. Sure, well, if you enjoyed it. It was okay. It, it counts, close yeah. enough. So anyway... Do you do we know what Chirashi is, or it's just me? Who knows what that is? I do not. Uh, is is a fish gum? Is they have it at the grocery store? I don't know why it has a different name because it feels like it's very silly for it to have a different name. But um, hey, it's you... it's just imagine if you just had Donbury stuff like so you know beef over rice and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, but it's just like a bowl of rice, but you po have a bunch of different sushi on top. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Okay, can I just say the camera angle where it was just her tits for like three oh, separate there's camera been angles? Oh, so much of that. That was really oh. just great. You don't know, that's that's gotta be. There's a lot of that. In this no, I can game. imagine. Yeah. Ooh, this song kinda. Yeah, no, this, this song, uh, this song Ooh. fucks. Is this yeah. new? Um, I don't know if we've heard this before. She breasted boobily to like the it's... stairs and titted downwards. I feel like we it's maybe come up once before? I don't remember. I forget things all the time with these videos, so it could have happened before, but I don't remember. What video? It and... What are you talking about? And, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, no. I, you know, I, I just want to, like, I want to really acknowledge some of your progress here. So... Um, learned how to do the down attack. I've seen it. You understand that you can hit them while they're on the ground repeatedly. And yeah. you do it now. That's, uh, that's progress, you know? Club Mercury, it's blue. Surprise! It's like um, when you learned how to block. Let's see. What do you mean? Sailor Mercury. Oh, yeah, she's blue. I don't really remember... much... Um, that's fair. But I do remember the the shy dommy mommy that you have to help, and the weird yep. dom stuff going on in front of children mm -hmm. that I don't understand yep, that why happened. that happened. Um, that was with Kiryu. That, that that's pretty much all I remember. From I remember today, honestly. I remember you spied on a girl meeting her dad at the Japanese IHOP. Yeah, but Maggie yep. wasn't here for that, so. Um, the... that was like two episodes ago, I think. No, oh, no, that was this... way more than two. Oh, it was so many more than two episodes ago. This guy the a last polo tie. seven episodes have been just this. Mm, okay. I'm, I swear the last 110 episodes have just been this. <laughs> episode can't... 53. Here I we can... go. I, it, everything before this management minigame is a haze to me now. <laughs> Uh, hey, Dilker, well, do... I need you to wear this polo tie. It's office policy. Do you remember me doing... I had to learn to fly, and Shadow the Hedgehog was there, and he was really a dick about it? Do you remember this? Hey, we were talking about <laughs> no, I remember cra crabs that. You see, I hentai. actually, funnily enough, I remember that better than anything <laughs> from this game. Uh... No, I remember Charizard, though. Uh. I remember how Charizard is uh -huh, a bird. I remember Charizard. Yeah, Charizard is a bird. Charizard, it was a slut, is what happened. Did, did, we ever, did we ever agree on whether or not Charizard has a cloaca? Because as a bird, obviously Charizard would have a cloaca. Well, whether Charizard was a bird or a lizard, either way it would have a cloaca, right? That, Let's that let Fur Affinity decide. What do you say, gang? I remember uh -huh. seeing this if, picture of if Charizard If you could please send your depictions of Charizard to... So we can, like, wrap up this uh, discussion, that'd be great. Hmm. I can bleep things! <laughs> Yeah. There's, there's this you picture can. with Charizard and Ash, and Charizard saying, Ash, get out, I need to poop. <laughs> Is there a me? No, I have, a I have. I have. I have. That's fun.
<laughs> Email your Charizard feet pics to. You probably should edit out the part where you said I do have, and then the address. Yeah, no, I have to. I have to audio edit yeah, you this have to whole edit thing that whole thing out. Fucking ruining my life. You can just say whatever I want, whatever we want. <laughs> fucking ruining my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you edit it out like I'm like I'm gonna make, say some stuff? Make me do three minutes worth wait, of audio wait, editing. Wait, Fuck wait, you! I'm, I'm gonna say some stuff and pretend like I'm saying like really bad words, like I'm saying some like really heinous shit. Just like, and I'll be like, I'll be like, uh, uh, tofu, uh, Resident Evil Six. Uh, so Alder this is Western. how you make a dirty bomb. And then, but you bleep it all, so it sounds like I said something really awful. <laughs> Thanks. Have a cup of sugar, two eggs. Uh huh. No, don't put that into your sushi rice. Please, 10, please don't put two detectors. eggs into your sushi rice. Or three tablespoons of, of vanilla extract. Um. <laughs> Some ammonia nitrate. <laughs> Imagine if you, wait, this would be a really good prank. Is you give someone sushi and then you give them soy sauce to dip it in, but it's not soy sauce. It's just a vanilla extract. It's just all. <laughs> Oh fuck! That would be so. Oh, that would fuck. be so. Okay, do you know? So first of all, vanilla extract is like fucking four ninety nine for one of those tiny one ounce bottles. But it would be really fun. So we really gotta commit if this is gonna happen. Oh, but what if that's a five dollar prank? That's worth it. Holy what if shit! Instead of giving someone like avocado paste or whatever, you gave them guacamole instead. You know. That's the same thing. We know someone who's no, but no. hasn't really ever Guac eaten... has salt and lime juice in it. <laughs> what or not? You... Not what the fuck is it called? Not the uh... salsa? No, no. Uh, it's like wasabi. Saying... Oh, wasabi. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, 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 when no, I said... realized that when I said the <laughs> yeah. word, it's like that's that's like not. Japanese. It needs to be way more fun. <laughs> but also, up, I thought it was. I thought the joke was that you were saying it was the same thing. Like, what would be really funny is like. <laughs> no, I could have. I could have pretended yeah. that was. It. You know. Yeah, yeah. Let's pretend. Could you go back and edit it so like. Um, Instead of putting tomatoes on the burger, let's put salsa on the. No, burger. No, 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 like mint colored toothpaste. That could actually be mint colored uh, toothpaste neat. and then vanilla extract. You ever had a hamburger with guacamole and pico de gallo on it? It's yeah, not that's bad. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I see it on menus and stuff. I like so. a hamburger with, uh... I like a hamburger with mushrooms, caramelized yeah. onions, and Those cheese. Dude, mushroom, uh -huh. mushroom, uh, mushrooms on a burger? Extremely underrated. Cannot recommend enough. Oh, have you had the Shake Shack, uh... Secret Burger? No, you know? Shake Shack's too far away, so I've never been. <laughs> cool, so there's a Shake Shack burger you can get, which is a vegetarian burger, which is... They take a big portobello mushroom... And oh, hell yeah. fill it with cheese, and then fry it. Ooh! Okay, I was gonna yeah. say, they do that at the diner right up the street from me until you said they fry it. Right. Which is new, so new the information. Outs outside is fried, and the inside has, port has a bunch of cheese, and it's a big portobello mushroom or whatever. Um... But the secret burger is that you used to be able to get, I don't know if you still can, is you just ask them to put that on a regular burger. So you get a burger that also has the mushroom patty that's all fried and shit on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's not vegetarian anymore. It's just really good. Oh yeah, I mean, fair enough. It sounds really good. I used I'm... to get that back I... in the day. I don't know if you still can. I If I ever get to a Shake Shack, I will ask. And... Shake Shack is so fucked up. They always do like they're one of those fast food places that I hate because their food's good and all, but they always use promotions that just last like two fucking weeks and then they're done. Mm. They're like, oh, we have hot chicken, and I'm like, oh, sick. I love hot chicken. They're like, it's been two months. We don't have hot chicken anymore, and we'll never even, have it again. Okay, so even Taco Bell only changes their menu every six weeks. Like, all Shake Shack. That's a little do. ridiculous. Yeah. Just make hot chicken. And be lie. bisexual and lie. <laughs> yeah, and the worst part is they don't even make hot chicken anymore, so they're just be bisexual and lie now. That's it. Burger King makes hot chicken. Hey, I what was... the fuck are you talking about? Uh, don't want to hot... too, hot that chicken. meme. That meme is too online for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Return to hot chicken? There's a. Uh huh. Um, they, apparently, I, I was told this recently. Apparently, Shake Shack briefly had. A kimchi chicken sandwich. What? Yup. And it was so short-lived that the person who told me about this got to eat it one time ever. 
Okay, but like, does the kimchi sandwich uh, make them bisexual? How does that come into play exactly? No, this don't worry about it. This is an online meme. Twitter meme. Is this like the is this like the Yas Queen Wendy stuff? Is no, that... it's more like um, uh, what is it like? What's a good other current Twitter meme? Do they have Twitter memes? I don't even know. Just, it's too, it's too you hard can, to explain. You can say, look at Discord, because you post a thing. It's okay if people know that you're showing it would, me what It would fuck. be actually better for the audio and the flow of the episode if you said, here's the thing, no. I'm sending you an image. Yeah, no, instead I don't of want to distract it. from the game. Oh well, no, it's okay, game? watch it. Again, there's no video game. This is a static photo of Majima that I've been showing you for the past hour. Charge they phone, twerk. Any female born after 1993, I was born in 1994, so this this counts okay, me, so I guess. so you can't cook? So, uh, they can't cook. I can't cook. You're, you're right. All they know is McDonald's. I do not eat McDonald's, thank you. Charge they phone. I do know how to charge my okay, phone. Go <laughs> twerk? Twerk. Uh, I can technically twerk. Um, I, I don't really do yeah, that, but I yeah. could technically be bisexual. I am asexual, thank you, but I will fuck anybody technically, so, so then, nah, that nah, kind nah, of nah, works a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we, we Eat hot that. chip and lie. I don't really love hot chip, but I have lied before in my life. So but this is... Like, when they say hot, hot chip, chip do they mean like french fries? No, no, they, they mean, mean they mean the techno brand band hot chip. <laughs> no, they're being very specific, and they definitely mean like takis. They mean like takis, or like um the the super spicy Doritos. The I forget real, the, the, the real spicy Doritos. I forget the Doritos. I forget the exact name, but so uh, fiery oh, nacho rich. is that it? That might be it. Wow. wow. Speaking of spicy chips, hey, here's a fun story. Uh, you know the guy, the people who uh, they make the death chip. Do you know about yeah. the death, death death chip challenge? Yeah, they sell they sell you one chip and it comes in a little cardboard. Coffin. Yeah, don't buy that. That's some bullshit. Anyway, yeah, I mean, yeah. Those same people make actual chips. Why? Why you throw a chip? Because their chips are good, actually. Oh. Um. So they make some that are really good. Like uh, they make one that's like, I think salsa verde is the name of the flavor, and it's like if Cool Ranch was better. What if Cool Ranch was a little bit okay, spicy so and here, better? I already know of a chip that's basically Cool Ranch but better, and it's the Creamy Jalapeno uh, Ruffles. So, but this is the exact same corn chip style of Doritos instead of a okay. Ruffles chip. Okay, I mean, so, I, are, are these made by a Frito Lay or associated I, brand? Yeah, uh, I actually think not because I was looking at that earlier because I didn't know the whole thing is going on. Yeah. It's, uh, wait, let me, let me. What whole thing's going on? What the fuck am uh, I missing out on? Oh, okay, so, so the, the, the whole thing going on is that, uh, the, there were, there are workers on strike in Kansas City? Yeah. Question mark? Somebody correct me. Sure, uh, why not? at the Frito-Lay plant because they're basically making them work like 14 hour days in like unair conditioned warehouses. Yeah, during a pandemic. Yeah, anyway, like seven days a week. Kansas. It's these guys, Andy, and I don't think that they are owned by PepsiCo, right. aka Frito-Lay. Um, anyway, the Salsa Verde ones are really good. Um, but also, uh, I got a sampler pack from these guys a while back. I wanted to try them all. Um, and the fiery chili limon's pretty good. The jalapeno tropical, which it says it has pineapple in it. Oh, damn, she teleported too. Doesn't taste like that quite good, though. Um, but also, I got these haunted ghost pepper ones. And man, those are fucked up. I believe it. I, I got... Um, so, Trader Joe's had ghost pepper chips and i got a bag and yeah that um it was a lot your spice tolerance <laughs> is higher than mine i could i ate three of these once. well you watched me okay i'm i have a, I have a story about that but continue i i ate three of these once these these goosed pepper chips and uh, i couldn't that was the most i could eat at one time was three because I ate three of them, then I was like, oh, no, it hurts everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you like hot chip, you can get a whole fucking bag of them from there, and they actually are hot. That's fucked up. So that's kind of nice. 
Um, so I, so I feel like I was going to say two things, but the second one was I brought last time. Oh yeah. 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 So the first one is about last app. So yeah, your my spice tolerance is insane. So uh, you watched me just like fucking douse. You, you put, you put last dab on a chicken nugget for me and I ate it. And I was like, Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> like, so that's, that's where my spice tolerance is at. Now, that being said, could God make a pulled pork so spicy by accident that even he himself could not eat it? That's that's kind of my story. <laughs> that even he himself yeah, sure. slices I them it. open. I mean, yeah, listen. so I was I was making pulled pork. I was uh, running low on barbecue sauce. I had to I had to top up the slow cooker. That guy so I was just like, fucking oh, disappeared. I have two cans of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce that I got at Aldi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I I dumped them in, and I have now made uh, what I'm referring to as the spicy nightmare pork, <laughs> which I could not finish. <laughs> it was so spicy. It was painful. I think what's really fascinating about um, spicy food is that I feel like people just find different... Like, there's a Scoville scale, and I do think it matters to some extent. Where, like, yes, some things actually are just a little bit spicier than other things. But I also think that there's some weird something going on in there where some people just find certain types of peppers spicier than others for no discernible reason. And mm. I love and I love that. Like, for example, I don't think habaneros are very spicy. They're not. They're, like, they're hot, but they're not, like, anywhere near, like... Fucking! I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna drink the hot sauce, Doctor Inferno. Okay. Win ten dollars. But, but I'm talking about even like a habanero pepper. And if you bite yeah, into yeah. a habanero pepper, you it's spicy. That the the Scoville scale on habanero peppers is very high. But then you've got something like um. Uh, oh God! What are they called? Ghost uh, pepper, Scotch no, bonnet pepper, Carolina no, Reaper. No, less spicy than that. Um. Green bell uh, pepper. What are they called? Uh, tomatoes. Jalapeno? No, they are green, not jalapeno. Um, Mayonnaise. They're green, they're South American or Central American. Um, Peppercorns. Um, Poblano? No, the other one. Serrano. Serrano, thank you. There you go. Jalapeno. Good job. So, I, for, for me, even though on the Scoville scale, Serrano are lower than Habanero. Like, universally. They're just less spicy. I... If I have something with Serrano peppers in it, it like fucks me up way more. Well, here's for the no thing. good reason. That's weird. Each individual batch of peppers is gonna be different. Yes, but it's consistent. I've had okay. stuff with Serrano peppers many times. I've had stuff with habanero peppers many times, and no matter what, I, oh, every time I have a Serrano pepper, it's just like boom, like it hits me. You know, I know how you can uh, make your tolerance to spicy stuff better. Yeah, eat it all the time. Uh, no. Uh, it's this uh, cool thing called estrogen. You know, it really helps with that. It's this cool thing called boofing. Oh, does it? Uh, yeah, that's a weird thing. I can actually eat spicy stuff better. I still don't like it, but... Like, you you know. boof spicy food better? Um... You vor, you vor spicy food better. Now, what about the other types? Oh, you want to start the vor stuff? Okay. No, let's not right. do that. Ma no, Maggie, no, no. you've been gone for so long. You did I'm... this. <laughs> you know what? You did this. This time, this, you know this, you. this time, this time, it actually was me. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You opened your mouth. I now you have this. to swallow it. I oh, have to leave. Now you have to swallow your own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now you must chew your own lips and swallow them. Now you vor must become style. an Ouroboros. <laughs> Oh, complete no, Alex, global saturation. Don't swallow me. I don't like this. This is making me upset in my so body. So anyway, it's like how I feel like a lot of people did. They just like ghost pepper does nothing to them, but if they have like a fucking straight up habanero, it'll just destroy them. It's very interesting. It's really weird because I've never I've never thought of hollow, uh, habaneros as that spicy. No, me either. But I think I th there are people who for me personally eat a I think. I think Serrano and Habanero might be like roughly equal. They're not. In terms of though, the spice like, I'm just. Let me. Hold I know on, they're gonna... not. I know they're not. Technically. Hold on, hold but on. for me, experiencing flavors and spice levels in my body, that's that's my impression. So, a Serrano pepper Scoville scale is 5,000 to 15,000. Mm -hmm. 
Can you can you search more? Habanero, please. Wait, habanero peppers are rated one hundred thousand to three hundred and fifty thousand. Yes, I know. So it's not even close, and yet. And yet my tongue decides yeah. that it is. Yeah, it's wild. So what's that like? Um, it measured in decibels. I just think it's because <laughs> negative zero point seven. We're not meant to eat that. Like it's funny. Andy, you can't do that. That's a callback they're not gonna get. <laughs> no, listen. I just it's won't like acknowledge a jet it and engine move on. Fifty meters away. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Um, I gotta go. So how many peppers can you fit in your mouth at one time? What kind of peppers? The, the um, peppers. if they're shaped like a little people, you know, little people. We're going back to the boar thing. That's what I'm uh, trying to freeze. I really thought the video was about uh, to end, but there's actually two. No, we got green peppers. So yeah, we got, how big we got are a little they? bit <laughs> green bell pepper sized. Oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Only size one of a billiard ball. If they're the size of a green bell pepper, yeah, my mouth is that big. How many peppers could you fit in your mouth before your gag reflex kicks in? One. One. <laughs> really? You gotta, you gotta get a hold of your gag reflex, son. How? This a has green been a problem. Bell pepper every size? time, every time I go to the dentist and they want to do X-rays, it's a fucking nightmare because of my gag oh. reflex. Please tell oh. me. Want me to really go into detail on have that? You had the, have you had the thing with the COVID test where you, they put it up your nose and you gag? Because that no, never happened I, to me. Well, though. I haven't, I haven't needed to get a COVID test. So. Well, you should get one. This is good for you. Builds character. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so first you this get, a, you get like a, a dildo that test. you find comfortable. All right. Right, and then you sell that. You uh -huh. that. Now, <laughs> now Maybe buy an eggplant. Now buy an eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> cook it. <laughs> I mean, you could. No, no. Use what an you want to do is you want to take this eggplant. You, you want to cook it with some vinegar, some soy sauce, a little bit of sugar. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Now you have a dildo style eggplant. Ooh, now what you're uh -huh. going to want to do is you're going to eat that. Uh-huh. Okay? Now this isn't going to help...